Look, I think Rick Macy is every bit as tough as any other character that I've played. This film absolutely is this sort of meditation on, 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 on family and on parenthood and explores really the nooks and crannies of it. I, I, I think one thing, I'm a, I'm a father myself and it's the most important job that I have and um, I love being a dad. I think one thing that goes hand in hand with being a parent is the fact that you are going to make mistakes and that sometimes it's not pretty. And I love that this film didn't shy away from that. I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh no, brother man, I got me the next too. As far as the athletics go, I think that this film just really kind of explores the full spectrum from, from sort of the, 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 the toxic to the sublime beauty that, that, that athletics and youth athletics can sort of be for a family and be for young people. I'm an ex-athlete, you know, both, both Ray and I, the director of the film, played college baseball. And I think it's sort of a, a point where we really connected on. The film really just celebrates faith and, 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 and the power of family. And I think that folks are gonna go in with, with a lot of preconceptions and misconceptions based sort of on the vilification of Richard Williams that was jammed down our throats and these false ideas and these misconceptions of what we think this kind of, um, you know, overbearing uh, uh, kind of taskmaster father is. I think we see that this is something very, very different. You pulled him out of juniors. Now you pull him out of practice. You do it constantly. I'm trying to look out for my kids. You're looking out for yourself. With the character that I play specifically, I think there's so much joy in him, so much, so much kind of love for the game. Um, but I think it's kind of an uh, interesting sort of mirror to the entertainment business. You know, I think we all sort of feel like maybe we don't belong that much. And then all of a sudden you get, uh, you know, a little bit of heat or, or, or things start to turn. And all of a sudden these same people that were kind of rejecting you now all of a sudden, you know, want a piece, you know? And, and I, I think that's very much sort of a theme of this film. But what I love so much about sort of this character and the way that Rick is portrayed in the film is that you, you know, ultimately, you know, he just, he, he falls in love with this family that he works for. He falls in love with these young women and he believes in them as if they were his own. I think ultimately he wants them to be successful, not to, you know, not for his own, you know, pocketbook, but you know, he wants them to be successful because he loves them so much and, and, and he believes in this family. Ray and I immediately connected when we met. We're both dads, uh, we're both ex-college athletes. You know, we both were sort of outdoing each other with sports metaphors. I think we both uh, sort of approached the work um, very athletically and um, so we connected like that but he was very clear he didn't see me for the part you know I was uh, nearly 200 pounds I just come off the Punisher but I, I just knew the script resonated with me um, in, in, in such a deep way and I really really wanted to be a part of it so I read for it and I love being able to read for roles and it's it's um, it's it's really it's the only time as an actor you get to sort of give your version of things where nobody else can touch it and it's 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 all yours and um, um, and then you know it, it really makes you feel when you walk on the set that 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 that, that you earned your spot there so I, I I really dug that process. There's an old kind of acting exercise that I, I I hold very dear to me and and. You know, you always you go and you write down every single thing that other people say about your character. And I think it's really also true in research. It's not about going to the person and sort of ask them how they want to be portrayed on screen. You talk to people that know them and you, you start to collect data. And one of the things that was just uniform in everybody that I talked to about Rick was just how fun he was. Serena said playing at the Macy Academy was one of the funnest times of her life. And I love that. I, I, I love the coaches that I had growing up. It just made things fun. Everything was a game. It was a challenge. Um, he didn't mind being the butt of a joke. And, and so for me to be on set and making those young women laugh, even laugh at me, laugh at my short shorts, laugh at my mustache, like give it to me, you know? It was such a joy for me to, to, to play a character like that. And, you know, a lot of folks have said, you know, you normally play such tough guys. Look, I think Rick Macy is every bit as tough as any other character that I've played. I think, you know, we confuse these things with, you know, intimidation and, and, and brutality. You know, he's a enormously, you know, focused and committed and, and, and vital uh, character, you know, but he practices in joy and fun and, and gamemanship. And um, I, I, I think those are totally, uh, you know, strong and tough characteristics. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> These girls are so great, how come I've never heard of them? They're from Compton. It's okay, they're just not used to seeing good looking peoples like us. One of the things I love about this job uh, uh, the most is that 
you know, you get to learn all these different trades. And I, I take that part of the work enormously seriously. When I'm playing a soldier, playing a cop, playing a scientist, you have to, you have to learn the trade. And, 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 and so for me, there's a, there's a tennis academy right here in Ojai, California, where I live called the Wheel Tennis Academy. And I start training uh, three to six hours every single day. Um, it's amazing how much you can pick up uh, when you have great coaches and, and, and you have that time. And I'm uh, you know, enormously grateful to, to, to Ray, you know, being athletes, we really wanted to get the tennis component right. So I didn't just train in tennis. I started to train in coaching. They let me coach um, one of their um, junior national, uh, nationally ranked players. So learning the vocabulary of coaching, learning how to run drills, how to feed, how to understanding the psychology. And these folks let me train there, train players there every day. And then they let me start coming and training folks in character, which was great. You know, I was working with the, um, a wonderful dialect coach. Look, not that many people, you know, know who Rick Macy was, but I just thought I, I love projects that 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 you know use sort of the the sword of truth. That 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 truth is kind of the guiding light and, and trying to get things right. I think when you read Zach Balin's script, so authentic and real and honest. You know, I really said, hey, let's let's try to bring Rick Macy to the screen. Let's try to walk like him and look like him and sound like him. And, um, you know, that accent is so specific where it's that part of, you know, Eastern Ohio and Kentucky where they meet. It's, 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 it's this conglomeration of all these different things. So I really wanted to, you know, kind of get that right. So there's a lot of that kind of prep. And, and that's the kind of prep I really... I, I really love doing it. It's, it's, um, it was a real joy. They're icons and this story is so important. And the fact that they are with us and believe in us and believe in this project, just, yeah, I, I, think, it's, I think it's great. And I, I love that they dig the film.